Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs, and we're getting ready to head off and grab some lunch at that Italian place we tried back in December. So yes, we went there in December, and we really enjoyed our bagel sandwiches, but today I'm getting at least an Italian sub of some variety. I don't know what Mike's gonna get, but we're gonna go grab some lunch, bring it back home, because cases are crazy in Florida right now, but uh, we're gonna go enjoy some delicious food, hopefully. Just have to chill here and be good boys, yes? Be good boys, good boy, good boy. You booped me, It's that was a promise. And I know you're gonna be good. Here we are. Into Frankie's we go. Oh, cookies. We have a cheesecake. Parade of toys. It's the parade of toys. Look at that little wiggle butt. Oh, I dropped it. No, he took it. <laughs> parade of toys. All right, so here's mine. I went to the Little Italy. Italian sub with hot peppers, looks delish, and then Mike got the meatball sub. We got the meatball hero, babe. We got some tortellini salad. We got the last salt bagel that they had, and then Mike got a canish as well. So that is our spread. Obviously, we're not eating all of this now, but <laughs> that was today's haul. Lunch was delicious. And while we were out, we checked our mail and Stitch Fix arrived. So you know what that means. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show right now. <laughs> yes, let's do it. So here is shirt number one. In Hannah's defense, I did tell her that Florida had been 80 degrees and I needed no more sweaters, but I needed short sleeve items. That said, this is not my jam. I actually like the neckline on it, but this pattern is not me. I don't like this little, it's not a bubble hem, but it's trying to be. Like it's shorter in the front, longer in the back. It's just a little bubble, like a tiny bubble hem. I just don't, just don't care for it. I would never pick this out of my closet and choose it, mainly because of the pattern. I think if it was a different pattern, I might be okay with it, but this one is a definite no. Shirt number two, I feel like Hannah heard 80 degrees and was like, she's going to Hawaii. <laughs> I feel like both of these prints are very much Hawaiian vacation and as much as I would love to go to Hawaii, I can assure Hannah that there are no plans to go to Hawaii anytime soon. Yeah, it's very soft. It's a very soft material, but I just don't think, I like this pattern better than the last one for sure. I just still don't think this is my jam. I don't think this is my style. I like the little pocket. I like the tank style, but I don't think this pattern is me. This is another no for me. Item number three, the jeans. Stitch Fix jeans fit me absolutely perfectly. And I love Stitch Fix jeans because I struggle to find jeans that actually fit at the waist and aren't too loose everywhere else. Because as you guys know from watching all my videos, my legs are not really proportionate to my waist size. So it's hard to find jeans that aren't like super baggy. The Stitch Fix jeans fit me perfectly. These feel great as much as I like them. And I like the rips and I like the shreds and I'm into that. I just do not need more jeans right now. I have so many pairs of jeans and I think I've worn jeans I think I maybe wore jeans once the entire second half of last year because it just hasn't been cold enough for them. So at this rate, with how many cold days we're having in Florida, between leggings and my jeans that I already have, I just don't think I'm gonna get use out of these. So these will be another no. My girl Hannah is struggling in this box. <laughs> she is struggling. Um, it's cute. I already have like three shirts like it from Stitch Fix. Out of the closet of clothes I already have. This would not be an item that I would gravitate toward. 
It's so soft. I love their shirts. When they get it right, they get it right. It's Pink Clover, and I love that brand. It's just, it's just okay. We're not doing well in this box at all. It's not, not, not a winner today. But the last item is the only item that I actually approved in my preview, because I think I've discussed before that now with Stitch Fix, you get a preview of your box, and you can say yes to items or no to items. And the next one that I put on is the only one that I said yes to. So the other four were a surprise that Hannah put together. So we'll see about this last item. Fingers crossed. And go figure, the last item, the one that I picked, I mean, technically they picked for me, but the one I said yes to is the one that I love. I adore this one. It is so soft. It is so cozy. It's got the little like slits on the side so it's not just like a straight sweater. I love the colors of it and it's just that perfect cozy vibes. I will be totally wearing this in the next few days because we're actually in the 60s for most of this week. Today is like 75 but tomorrow we're getting some rain and then it's gonna be in the 60s for most of the week so this will definitely get some use very soon and this is a keeper. Super soft and I think I think it covers the booty enough to wear with leggings. I'd have to try, but I think I can pull this off with leggings. So, definite win in my book. Oh, so, one out of the five. Not great for Hannah, but this one is a keeper. Jacqueline did an Instagram today where they were snowed in and the snow was like halfway up their doorstep. Meanwhile, here in Florida, <laughs> 75 degrees, everything's green. Blue skies. You know it didn't even get cold this winter when, one, we still have grass. Like, even in Florida, the grass will turn brown. And for the most part, it's still green. It's actually starting to turn brown just from being dry, not from being cold, because we haven't had much rain. And we're in Riverview, we're only allowed to water. There's some blue jays. In Riverview, we're only allowed to water one day a week. So, our grass starts to die. <laughs> If it's too warm and not enough rain. And then the other sign, it's been warm. Our maple tree never dropped its leaves. I don't know. I mean, I guess it still will. But the leaves, you can tell on top, sort of turn colors. And the bottom ones are still green. And they haven't dropped last year. That thing was naked by this part of the year. <laughs> it had no leaves at all. So... The maples all kept their leaves, but it's beautiful out today. Look at this little snuggly boy. You look so cozy. I love it. Just lounging. Straight lounging. <laughs> oh, I need a beverage for this, but we figured we'd do some for science. We've got the chips that Dave and Steffi sent, the dark chocolate habanero chili tortilla chips. And then we got these that I found at Publix the other day. Three cheese layers. So let me get a drink. We're back. <laughs> so I think we should do the cheesy one first. All right. Let us see how these are. Very curious to see what they look like. The timing. <laughs> <Just> mood. <laughs> Set the kitchen lights to 100%. Can we do the, uh, so you want to be a millionaire? Like, do do do. That is it. Why did you hold the bag up? Because that's would have been perfect for it. That would have been perfect. Like doing <laughs> or who wants to oh. be a millionaire? I gotta, maybe like, oh. go along, but. Okay. Oh. This is like more like your fever dream than mine, but this is okay. Oh. I don't, I don't know. Those are interesting. They're like folded chips. They're kind of like little bugles, but layered. It's like a pastry. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> how to feel about that, but here we go. Cheers. There you mm. go. Okay. They're pretty much what I expected them to be. Okay. It says three cheese, but to me it tastes like sour cream and cheddar. Yep. A little cheesier. 
I like them. Good texture. But yeah, it does have like a bugle-ish kind of. Yeah, it does have a bugle. Puffed. Like puffed bite to it. Just less corn. Mm. Cheddar. Mm-hmm. Gouda. Parmesan. And Gouda. Gouda. <laughs> That's like it's where we get the, that kind of sour creamy is from mm -hmm. the Gouda. All right. I'm definitely curious to see what other flavors they come out with these because it doesn't say anywhere on here about what other flavors might exist. But I would definitely try some other flavors of these. Give these a try if you find them. Mm. These are good. So now, let's see what these are about. It says, maize snacks with habanero chili and coated with Belgian dark chocolate containing butter oil. Butter oil? Butter yeah. oil. Okay, so they are all coated. There it is. So on one side it has the chocolate, on the other side you can tell it's a normal tortilla chip. Let's see. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That was odd. What? Just a tortilla bite with chocolate. We've never had anything that was like that? Not tortilla. I'm waiting for the spice. It's there, but it's not, it's not much. I'm gonna have another one just to see if it builds a little. Nope, it never came. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I get the flavor of habanero and a tiny bit of it. I mean, a real tiny bit. There's this like little like, is that spice? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I get. Mm -hmm. But yeah, to say these are habanero. They just don't have a lot of it. Yeah. I don't know if I like, like I don't dislike it. But I don't know if I like chocolate with tortilla chips. It's good chocolate. It's mm -hmm. nice dark chocolate. It's not even remotely like, oh my God, spice, but. We both like spice though, so. But I think it's like that, like, um, like we've had like the chili and a brownie, kind of like that kind of, more like if Mexican you had three. Chocolate. It's definitely a Mexican chocolate, kind of. Now Mike's eating some uh, panettone that they, <laughs> that also Dave and Stevie sent that I opened earlier off camera, so. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what would you rate this out of five? What would you give this? Mm. I think it's a three. It's good for what it is. I would agree with that. And these? Those are like a surprising four. Same. Four yeah. out of five for me. So, good times. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it. Our first for science of 2022. Mm -hmm. We're back in it. We're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> this dog? Spoiled? Absolutely not. Definitely not. We've got Ash on patrol behind me, but well guys, it finally happened. It took nearly two years. <laughs> nearly two years, but the COVID finally caught us. Well, caught one of us. Oh, I think it does. I think you should. I'm just not coughing on everything. Yes. I mean, in your office, like whatever. I'm not going to go in your office. Your office is I'm the not sick den. Anywhere, actually, yeah, you're not really coughing at all. But still, I think, I think until I start showing symptoms, best for you to mask in the common areas. Mike, Mike tested positive just a little bit ago. Um, yesterday afternoon, he took a nap after we had lunch. And when he woke up from his nap, he was like, oh, I don't know. He's like, I just I feel a little off. And his only symptom was that he was sneezing. And so the pollen count in Florida is like wild right now. So like, it's definitely a heavy allergy time. So I was like, well, it could be Omicron. It could just be allergies. So let's take your temperature. He didn't have a fever. He was blowing his nose, but that made sense because he was sneezing constantly. So, we were questioning, but didn't have enough evidence to think COVID yet. So we went ahead and slept separately last night, just to be sure. So he slept in the guest room. And then when we woke up this morning, he's like, yeah, I need one of those tests. So I'd bought two boxes of home tests back in September when I was going to Horror Nights every weekend, just to be sure. So that if I did come down with symptoms, 
um, after horror nights that I could test and know for sure. So thankfully we still had those two boxes of tests. So he took one of the tests and it was like positive. <laughs> there was no, there was no hesitation. It says like wait full 15 minutes before reading the test um, because it could have a false negative or it could take a while for the line to show up. And I mean, that line was like, boop, <laughs> there. And so he's like, I don't think it goes away. I'm like, no, I don't think it goes away. I think that's to let people know that if there's no line at the beginning, you still have to wait the full 15 minutes. I mean, yeah, it was there. So today he has got pretty much just a little bit of fatigue and then head cold symptoms. So he's very stuffed up, very congested. Um, not really coughing. I think I've heard him cough once and I think that was probably just the congestion. So far, I have no symptoms, but I am chugging my vitamins. <laughs> I've got my boost, chugging those. Um, I'm gonna stay separate from him as much as possible now, but I already spent like the past two days hanging out with him in close quarters with him, in a car with him for a while yesterday. So, I mean, my odds are pretty good that I might even already have it. We just don't wanna waste, we just don't wanna waste a test when I don't have symptoms, when it doesn't change anything for us. I've already been exposed. I'm gonna go into quarantine measures here. It doesn't matter if I take the test and know if I'm positive or not, because I don't have to go into work. I don't have to go anywhere, so. We are just going to assume that I have it, that we're both positive, and start our quarantine phase. So we're going to still stay separate from each other so that if I don't have it, I don't catch it. But as far as the outside world, it doesn't change anything for us because we're just going to go into quarantine. So it finally happened. The Omicron caught up with us. I knew our days were numbered just because the cases are so high in Florida that it just seemed impossible that even with us and how much we stay home, it just seemed impossible that we wouldn't catch it somewhere. So for him, he had to have caught it at hockey because that's the only thing he does outside of the house aside from being with me, like grabbing food every once in a while. Good thing we wore our mask yesterday because, look, <laughs> there was plenty of people yesterday at that restaurant not wearing masks and we were some of the only ones wearing masks. So just putting that out there. So anyway, um, we assume it had to have been hockey. That's the only thing he did out of the house this past week. Um, and that was Tuesday night. I, I mean, granted, I could have brought it back from the grocery store or something and just been as asymptomatic. We don't know for sure, but since he's the one with symptoms, we're assuming it was hockey and the timeline's there. So I won't be going anywhere for the next week. I'll put a grocery order in, have it delivered to us. And yeah, we are, we are officially quarantined but with everything going on with omicron we were already planning on pretty much staying home so thankfully we had nothing planned um, we were thinking about going out and having a picnic somewhere on monday because tomorrow is a holiday but obviously that's not happening i knew it was coming eventually i knew it with florida cases we were we we're hitting 50 to 70 thousand cases a day in florida and they're projecting 70 to 80 percent of floridians are going to end up having omicron so it was only a matter of time, honestly. We were doing everything we could to try to prevent that from happening, but I pretty much knew it was only a matter of time. Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully his symptoms stay as mild as they are right now. Hopefully I never have any symptoms. That would be great. And it's gonna be just a normal week, but staying home all the time. What do you see out there, Ash? What do you see? I have the windows open since it's breezy and nice out. A neighbor is doing some sort of construction, so he's very intrigued by the noises. Foster has curled up here with me. They're begging to get up here, so he's basically in my lap. And Colby's also just kind of chilling at the moment, lounging. Why are you whining at me? Oh my goodness, you're so close. You're so close. Oh, good stretch. Oh, good stretch. Oh, good stretch. Very nice. Yes. 10 out of 10. Okay. Let me get you your blanket. Well, Mike is in taking a nap. I am out with the doggos. We had a cold front come through last night. So it is very breezy and chilly today. It is some... Um, I've got a message there. I can't see. My Instacart shopper is shopping. 
the uh, the struggle. The last time I did Instacart, we weren't having a grocery store that was uh, half empty. Now with all the supply chain issues, our grocery stores have a lot of missing things on shelves. So she's having to send me a bunch of questions. So she's working on our Instacart order. Very windy. Foster already went inside. He's like, it's too cold for me. It is currently 66 degrees, but it's very, very breezy. So breezy and uh, cloudy. So it feels a lot colder than 66. Very damp air. So I love it. I'm getting to wear a sweatshirt. I'm cozy. <sighs> yep, so this definitely put a... <laughs> we didn't have any plans for the week, but it still just like turns our world upside down. So call in Audible. I'm gonna make some chili tonight because Mike requested that. He wanted some chili. He did just take his temperature and he does have a fever now. It's like a 99 fever, so a low grade. But he and I both our standard temperature is 97.1 normally, so 99 is at least a two degree temperature for him. So I just drank like one of my uh, Built Boost <laughs> drinks that has all your vitamins in it. Chugged that, just drank a whole thing of tea. So I've just had 32 ounces of water essentially <laughs> in the past like two hours. So I'm just gonna hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, he's wearing his mask in the common areas. I've got the windows open. It's nice and breezy today, so I'm blowing in some fresh air. He's pretty much just locked himself in his office or in the spare bedroom, so hopefully either I'm asymptomatic or hopefully I won't catch it. Starting off 2022. So fun. All right. Well, I made chili. Ooh, it's steamy. Hollow. <laughs> fresh chili. Gonna plate it up and have some nice comfort food tonight. There's Mike's, and there's mine. He requested no cheese, so there we go, dinner. Boys and I are snuggled in here. I've got my little snuggle bean. He's all tucked in. I am going to do a little destiny, and I need to finish the weekly vlog for tomorrow. And probably go to bed early to try to get extra sleep. Just try to do everything I can for my immune system to help boost it up, so. Okay guys, well it is Sunday night. Mike went back to bed around 8.30 and I've just been up by myself doing my gaming. And at a certain point during gaming, I was like, I feel like I'm getting a little warm. So I just took my temperature and now I have a low grade fever, 99.5 which like I said, Mike and I both are normally 97.1, we're not 98.6, which makes me wonder, those of you who don't use Fahrenheit, what is your non-fever temperature? I just have never thought of that before, but for Fahrenheit places, the standard is 98.6, but some people run different. Mike and I both happen to be people who run 97.1 is our base, so. If we have a fever of 99, that's actually a low grade fever for us. So 99.5 is my temperature right now. Otherwise, knock on wood, that's the only symptom I have at the moment. My nose has been a little runny, but not like I haven't felt strange. Like knock on wood, fingers crossed that's all I have because like if Mike didn't have COVID, if Mike weren't having symptoms, I wouldn't have even thought to take my temperature. <sighs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So he's definitely feeling like he has the flu right now. So he went to bed. I'm gonna take a shower and I'll keep you guys posted. So hey guys, it is Monday. Uh, Mike and I both have the day off because of Martin Luther King Day. So we would be chilling no matter what, but obviously Definitely chilling now. Um, I did fine overnight. I woke up a few times. Uh, that was mainly because the dogs. I feel like I slept fine. This morning my temperature was like 98.7. Slightly elevated, but not enough to be concerned. Mike's symptoms are all still the same. So quarantine day two. Well, it is Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my planner for the week. I do have a bunch of meetings and stuff this week, so hopefully I continue feeling fine so I can still work as normal. And I'll show you once I'm done. I need to pick up my stickers and I'll show you. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use the other pack that came from the advent calendar. I feel like it's fun and festive and happy and that's the kind of energy we need in the house right now. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so here's what I've done this week. Feels bright and festive. Kind of feels like a Festival of the Arts deal with all the paint lines. I kind of like that. Don't know if I'll get to go to Festival of the Arts this year. Remains to be seen. It does look beautiful. So, okay, so I accomplished one of the things on my to-do list today, which was dusting and going through my drawers. At least once a year I like to go through and reorganize because they start to get messy over time. So I cleaned out my drawers, dusted everything, got everything nice. I dusted Mike's side as well, dusted that dresser and that dresser, vacuumed in here some of the areas that Mo doesn't reach. There's just a few nooks and crannies that he can't get to. So I vacuumed in there. I vacuumed some of the ceiling areas where every once in a while, you know, you'll end up with spider webs. Got that all done. I need to fold some blankets in here. Colby's content, Foster's in with Mike. That was my to-do list today. We, oh, there's Mike. He's awake. <laughs> he snuck out of bed when I wasn't looking. All right, well, I just made Mike some soup. And now I am gonna play a little, I don't know, I think I'll wait for Destiny when it's dark. It's kind of hard to play during the day because this is what our TV looks like right now. You can see how much reflection it gets. So I think I'll wait and game after dark. Cozy time with Bean. Bean's telling me he wants to come snuggle. He's giving me the signals. He says, I snuggled with mom the past two nights because dad didn't sleep with us, so I had to snuggle with mom. Uh, by the way, I mentioned in last week's vlog that we weren't sure if the neighbors were going to have dogs, and they do. <laughs> Did you just lift your head at the word dogs? Yes, I am a dog. They seem to have two. There is a little dog. I don't know what she looks like. I haven't met them outside of the yard yet, but I've heard her. So we have a little dog named Maya. So we went from Molly to Maya. And uh, she's been the one really barking at them. And then there's another dog who sounds like a more Colby-sized dog. And I haven't heard his name yet. All right, well, it's Monday evening. I feel like I look like a hot mess, but <laughs> that's kind of what's happening at this house right now. Uh, I decided to go ahead and take the other COVID test because I kind of wanted to know if anything I'm feeling is just super mild COVID or if I haven't caught it yet and kind of know if we need to be super paranoid about Mike being around me. So I went ahead and took the test to find out since I had like that small fever yesterday or what I thought was a small fever yesterday, I don't know. Uh, so I took my test and I am negative. So we are gonna be diligent about everything we've been doing and staying separate. So I have tested negative in a way. I'm a little like, dang, I was hoping that this was me with COVID and my vaccine was just blocking me from having any symptoms. So on one hand, it's like, oh, dang, I thought this was it. I thought I had it and I don't have to worry about it. Turns out I'm negative. So I could still get it uh, here. We're trying to do as best we can to keep separate and also means I still am outrunning Omicron at the moment and we'll see if I can continue to outrun Omicron. Uh, for him, it's just the fatigue. The fatigue is the worst part, the exhaustion. Like he gets up and does a couple things in his office and he's like, all right, back to bed. So he slept pretty much the whole day or at least lounged in the guest room all day, which is good. Let your body rest, let it do its thing. Um, so hopefully he'll start feeling better tomorrow fingers crossed and i'm just gonna do my best to not catch it from him now so we had leftover chili for dinner so i forgot to vlog it but we just had the leftover chili from last night so it wasn't anything exciting anyway i am going to watch a little tv and go to bed early again because i got like nine hours of sleep last night i'm just gonna keep doing that trying to help my immune system all it can so hey guys happy Tuesday. It is nice and cold outside. Getting to wear my new sweater. I, like I said, tested negative yesterday. I'm still doing fine. I slept terribly. We'll talk about that more later when I have more time. But Mike is doing much better today. Uh, much less fatigued. His eyes look bright and back to normal. Chatty and in better spirits and just feeling a lot less fatigued and exhausted. So he's feeling better today. He did sleep pretty much all day yesterday. 
Um, and then the rest of the symptoms are basically just a standard cold. So he's dealing with the standard cold stuff just fine. It was the exhaustion and fatigue that was really getting him down. So he's feeling much better today so far. So fingers crossed, he's gone through the worst of it. He thinks his fever broke last night. So that's all good. I will share more of my adventure last night with Ash um, a little later, but I've got a meeting and the camera battery's dying. So I'll get back to tell you that story a little later. Oh my gosh. I was just typing and looked down. Oh, I did not even know that when I purchased it. And I love it even more now. Oh, that's fantastic. I just looked down and saw, I'm like, oh, what is that? Ooh, I love the sweater. All right, well, I'm out with the pups now. Letting them have some outdoor time. My work meeting is over. I had to do another Instacart order for some items because... Ash woke me up last night at 2.40 in the morning, begged to come outside. So of the dogs, like he's the best about giving signals and I trust him a lot. He never does a false alarm. So he came to get me, he woke me up. I brought him out at like 2.40 and he went straight to like eating as much grass as he could. And that's a pretty normal Ash behavior when he has an upset tummy. He knows that he's supposed to eat grass in order to make himself sick. When he does that, I don't even bother yelling at him because he only does it when he's sick and he knows how to take care of it. So uh, Colby went out with him to start with and then Colby came back inside and Colby and I sat here on the porch. It was like 45 degrees last night. So I went back in and got a blanket and I sat here in this chair wrapped in a blanket and Ash ate grass for 30 minutes straight. And then at about 30 minutes, he came to the door, let me know he was ready to go inside. He chugged a bunch of water I went back to bed but uh, his stomach is still upset so I had to get some more chicken and rice for him Colby's back to normal um, and Ash was back to normal and now he's back to not normal so I don't know what's going on so he gets special dinner again today in the next few days let's see if we can get him back to normal I did not sleep well because then like the mom instinct kicked in and I just didn't sleep well I kept waking up to see if he needed me it was a long night for me Today is pretzel day. Our complex has an Annie Ann's food truck here today. So I, since I tested negative, I'm gonna put on a surgical mask and a regular mask and I'm gonna go get us some pretzels. So it's right here, it's outdoors. I'm gonna double mask, I'm gonna go get us some pretzels. Because Mike's like, yes, pretzels, give me pretzels. So I'm gonna go grab those real quick and I'm gonna have a pretzel and some soup. I think he's ordering multiple pretzels and possible also a pretzel dog. So I will be right back with our food. My plate, an original with cheese dip. Mike's plate, <laughs> a roasted garlic. An original, a pretzel dog, and honey mustard. <laughs> he went ham. So tonight's dinner, having Panera tomato soup microwaved. It's just one of the Panera home kits. So tomato soup and an original Auntie Anne's pretzel. By the way, it's cold enough today that Foster has his sweater on. He came to see me, he's like, Mom, I'm cold. So he has his sweaters and I'm about to sit down and wrap them up in a blanket too because it is currently 54 degrees outside and those temperatures that don't sound like they're that cold in Florida, they feel a lot colder than they are because of the humidity. So it's a very damp cold and I love it. Everyone who was part of my Vlogmas where I was complaining about the weather, look at this, this is glorious. This is my kind of weather. Highest temp all week, high of 74 and a good solid week with highs in the 60s. Now we're talking. Is your nose cold? Do you have a cold nose? <laughs> Sorry, mom doesn't believe in running the heat. It's only 70 degrees in here. We don't need the heat. Look at him. They're so cute. And by the way, Hedgie, still his favorite by far. 100% his favorite. That's his baby. This is my absolute favorite thing. When it's nice and cold in the house, I can wear a sweater. I've got my blanket, 
because it's got to be cold for me to have the blanket. And I've got my space heater. <laughs> my space heater's here keeping me nice and warm. It's so cozy. I just love it. Look at those boys. The entire floor. They choose that. I just turned around to go get up and make myself a drink, and that's what I saw. And of course, you know where this one is. No doubt, but look at them. Ooh. It just never shows up in the camera like it does. Oh, that's better. That's more like real life. That's closer to it. Look how beautiful. Really nice sunset tonight. Oh, it's been a doozy of a day. So hey guys, as you can probably tell from the lighting, it is uh, late in the day. I put you here instead. I think the lighting's gonna be a little better there. It's been a day and I don't think I've vlogged anything for the regular video yet, aside from maybe the sunset. As promised, I'm living in this spirit jersey. So cozy. It was actually slightly warm today, which is crazy because it was so cold last night. It got down to like 43 degrees when I went to bed. And then this morning, when I took the dogs out, it was already in the 60s and I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> it's getting warm already. So we hit the 70s today, but it's already chilly again now because the sun's going down. So I'm back into my super cozy spirit jersey because I love it. It was a busy day. I had a grant professionals meeting. I joined a grant professionals association to kind of have some continued education and also help attend some sessions for my job because they are bringing me on as an actual employee. So I'll no longer be a contract worker. I will be a uh, employee, which is nice because I don't have to worry about doing all those contractor taxes. It's just going to be a straight W-2 again, which that will make taxes next year much easier. I had that at 11. I had my team meeting because we always have our team meetings on Wednesdays. I've got two big grants coming up that are due in early February, so that's taking up a ton of time. I'm still trying to do all the beginning of the year stuff. And then tomorrow I am posting the first article for HHN Rumors for the year, which is an article that was submitted to me from Legacy. If you're part of the Horror Nights community, then I'm sure you know Legacy, but um, he's a Horror Nights insider and someone that I've known through the community for years and years now. He came up with this idea to do a segment called Rumor Was, which goes over former Horror Nights rumors that never came to be. Ash isn't happy about it. Let the woman walk through the neighborhood. She lives here. She's allowed to do her exercise. So anyway, we are going over former rumors and information that insiders know, um, but never came to be. And so the first one we're doing is Scream, because as you may or may not know, if you're part of the Horror Nights community, Scream was supposed to be at the 2015 event. They built the house and then it got quite literally purged. So that's what the article's about. So if you haven't already checked it out, I'll leave a link down below. You can go check out the article that Legacy wrote. And hopefully it's a series that people like as we lead up to rumor season. He and I are gonna do a few of these as we wait for the rumors to start swirling. So kind of fun to get that going, be more active on rumors. All right, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Roasted squash, bell pepper, and beet bowls. I thought we'd had this one before, but it's slightly different. Ours didn't have the bell pepper with it, so it's gonna be a little different today. That's from Green Chef, it's our last one from last week. Should be a good one. <laughs> Look at this dog position right now. What is this? <laughs> oh, too relaxed. Just too relaxed. 
So hey guys, it is Thursday, Thursday evening. I don't think I've vlogged anything for the regular vlog yet, but I've just been busy with work today. Mike, pretty much back to normal, aside from a little congestion, so that's good. Um, he did, however, stay up all night working, so I scolded him when I woke up this morning because he's still supposed to be resting. I had another night of not restful sleep, but I'm um, still doing okay. So knock on wood, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure I would have caught it by now if I was gonna catch it. Considering that we assume he caught it at hockey on Tuesday and didn't start showing symptoms until Saturday afternoon, then I was definitely with him all those days to the point where Saturday we were in the car going to the Italian place together and we even shared each other's food when we got home. And so I feel like if I would have gotten it, it would have already happened. Fingers crossed, I think I might be okay. Tonight for dinner, I'm making this from Hello Chef. I feel like we had a version of this way back in the day. Like when we first started doing Hello Fresh, I'm pretty sure we had a bibimbap. Still don't know if I'm saying it right. From Hello Fresh, it was our first time ever having it. I don't know if we had this exact recipe, but something similar, and it was really good. So that's going to be dinner tonight. Look at this dog right now, just straight lounging. Straight chilling. What's up, ladies? <laughs> Meanwhile, our cat dog over there. What are you doing, Ashton? <laughs> here's the thing. Here's Mike's. I didn't break his yoke. So there it is. And there's mine. My yoke accidentally broke. Don't know how. It went in fine and then boop, it went, but it's fine. It's gonna be delicious anyway. Well, happy Friday, y'all. We made it. <laughs> it is Friday TGIF. Oh, it's been a week, but we made it through. Mike is, I would say, back to normal today. Today is, I think, the last day he's gonna be masking in the house because, again, knock on wood, I think I would have already had it if I was going to. Maybe I already did and I had a false negative. I don't know, I don't know what just happened. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out if I end up catching it <laughs> later on. I believe our COVID saga for this time around is complete. That said, we are obviously still not doing anything this weekend because it is still within 10 days for him and I know the CDC had the whole like five days deal, but he was symptomatic and we're not gonna risk that. Uh, we're not we're not gonna do that so we'll be chilling think earlier this week I mentioned that my boss wanted to talk with me about coming on as an employee he and I just negotiated that so as of February 1st I will be a technically a full-time employee but I'm only gonna be doing 30 hours a week so not 40 hours a week a 30 hour full-time job for the corporation I've been freelancing for for the past year which means I get benefits and paid vacation and all that stuff again. So that's exciting. Excited to still have my freedom and still be able to make my own schedule and still kind of do my own thing. I'm just gonna be working a little more than I was. For me, it's very important to kind of keep my flexibility because now that I've been working from home, I don't wanna trade that for anything. I love being able to work from home. One thing that works really well for our relationship is Mike works way more than 40 hours a week. That's just kind of his deal. He is a workaholic. He likes to work more than 40 hours a week. Like I try to get him to not work quite as much, but that's just his, how he operates. He is a workaholic and he knows it. <laughs> I accept it. It is what it is. Like he is so focused on work and it's very hard for him to clock out. So even though he technically has an eight to five job, it's never eight to five job. So along with that, I like to have the freedom of not working the full 40 hours a week because he works way more than 40 and that way I take care of pretty much everything in the house. So I'm keeping the house clean, I'm doing the cooking, I'm doing the cleaning, I'm doing the laundry, I'm doing the dishes, I'm taking care of the dogs pretty much full time. So I take care of all the rest of that so that he doesn't have to worry about it. So I joke that I'm part time at this past year part-time grant writer, part-time housewife. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be full-time grant writer, part-part-time housewife. 
<laughs> I don't know, something like that. We'll work it out. And I like being able to take that pressure off of Mike because since he works all the time, then he doesn't have to worry about the house. The house is taken care of. So that's the excitement in my world. I'm gonna stop rambling because I feel like this vlog is very long because I still haven't gotten the hang of weekly vlogging instead of daily vlogging and so I just talk too much. So <laughs> I'll see you guys when it's time for dinner. All right, I went and got a Zaxby's. I got the buffalo blue salad with no tomatoes. I think there's other toppings under there. I see the blue cheese and a few onion crumbles, but it mainly just looks like chicken and lettuce. Uh, I think they don't have their normal. No, there's some cabbage in there. It's probably just all clumped together. So that's my dinner. Mike got the new thing that's like a great eight. So you get like eight boneless chicken wings and he got hot honey mustard on it. Fries, a little toast and some sauces. So that's dinner tonight. All right, I'm settled in. We had dinner. Watching some Netflix. I'm starting with uh, The Puppet Master, some sort of true crime series. Let's see what it's about. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this week's vlog. You're going blurry. My camera doesn't even know where I am. So I will see you guys again next week.